Yes, of course, we all need the important ingredients for a severe storm, which we saw today. And so you might be asking how these funnel clouds formed. And so what usually happens is that we have this thing called wind shear. When we have wind at different levels of the atmosphere, we have the Gulf winds moving in, bringing in that moist, warm air. And then we have the approaching cold front that is moving in from the northwest. And so when we usually have these two ingredients combined, it creates a horizontal column of air. And then when you have a updraft, an updraft usually starts tilting that column of air uh, more into a 90 degree angle. And that's when we start seeing the formation of funnel clouds would ultimately ends up becoming a tornado. And is that's what exactly what we saw today. Of course, as we look at the preliminary damage path uh, currently uh, with this uh, system that we saw today, it started out near the I-10 area. There has been some damage uh, signatures that were reported reported north of Sealy. This has been unconfirmed, but the significant damage that we saw was inside of this navy blue polygon in and around the Klein area. We saw that funnel move over 290 and then eventually as we were on air that eventually moved over the highway 249 and then more of the dam heavily damaged area was in and around the Klein area where they saw uh, more of sort of that touchdown uh, of that system as it continues its track off towards the woodlands in the spring area and then eventually as it moved over the, the spring cypress closer to 45. That's when that storm eventually started weakening and we saw that the lightning of course decreased as well as the rotation sort of broadened out and that was the uh, the, the confirmed damage reports that we saw earlier. So here's a live look right now looking off towards the north uh, west, but we are expecting to see uh, we are seeing this uh, looking at that funnel right now, we are expecting that you're seeing that funnel move in over the those that area as uh, it was moving over the northwest area, but uh, just kind of you're able to see where the uh, the base of that and then eventually when you see a funnel and, and if you do see these across you know, in the area. This is something that's really sort of a dangerous situation and a lot of folks sort of heeded that warning uh, once they saw that those clouds starting to move further across the area. But